match is brought to you by Direct Waste Management Limited and Orca Telecom. Well, this Sabardinshire Shield final has been one that we've been waiting for for quite a while now. The semi-finals held in February. Locos getting past Huntley with the help of extra time. Tariff United knocked out of the competition by Cove Rangers, but uh, some ineligible players from both sides meant a replay which Tariff eventually overcame at the start of April by a goal to nil. Tariff defending their title after overcoming Cove Rangers in the final last year will be up against it. Locos have had a fantastic season looking to cement their second place in the table away to champions Brora on Saturday and they look to get some silverware as well. Here's Martin Bavich. Tariff get the ball back and look to go forward themselves. Andrew Reid just coming out to claim the ball. Now it's Maitland. Bavage once more. Aaron McKenna clears for Tariff. McLean. It's Mitchell on the far side. Looking for Martin Bavage. Now the Chuff Chuffs just uh, arriving fashionably late. Getting themselves into position. Reed with the ball forward. Bavage. In steps Gary Davidson. His ball backwards. Pounced upon by Neil Gould. And Neil Gould beats Kieran McCaffrey. Four minutes in. And Inverurie Locos off to the perfect start in the Shield final. Well, it's Gary Davidson with the ball back the way. Looking for a teammate, Neil Gould in amongst three Tariff players and he did ever so well to finish past McCaffrey. Tariff looking for an instant reply. Gary Harris on the far side. In towards Gary McGowan. And that one gathered well by Andrew Reid. Mitchell. Out towards the skipper McLean. He's got options in the box to aim for. And it comes from McLean. Knocked away to safety. Mitchell. Drilled in once more. Bavage is there. Flicked away to safety. And that's Scott Begg with the shot over the crossbar. Paul Young. It's a ball back the way. Neil McLean beats it to him. Now Gold trying to flick it out to Bavage on the far side. And Tariff just a... Riding early, Locos pressure early on. Cami Bowden with the cross. Up goes Gary Harris with the header. Over the crossbar it goes is Mike McKenzie and temporary charge with Ross Jack poised to take over. Looking on. Taken down well by Scott Begg. And he wins a corner. And it comes from McLean. Knocked straight back to the corner kick taker. Back in from McLean. At the far post is Keenan Adams are able to glance it towards goal. Well, it's scrappy in the midfield as McGowan tries to get going. It's Gary McGowan. That's a good shot. That's a good save from Andrew Reid. Tariff starting to feel their way back into the game as Andrew Reid once more gathers on the edge of his penalty box. Here's McKenna down the near side for Tariff. Good looking cross in. Reid at the near post once more clutches onto the ball. Locos with a bit of defending to do as McGowan swipes at it. No foul. Play on, says the referee. And Locos will get going with Gold. On the far side, looking to be his man, Lewis Davidson. Davidson concedes the corner. Headed away by Paul Young. Only as far as Begg. Back out to McLean on the far side. McLean trying to be his marker. Well, he's got to the ball and he's won another corner. Tenacious play from the Locos captain. 
Neil McLean with the corner, all the way back to Greg Mitchell and his shot doesn't find its way through the bodies in the Tariff penalty area. David Ross with the cross, Donaldson with the header and Kira McCaffrey gets to it. Martin Bavage just makes sure McCaffrey at the second attempt clutches onto the ball. Lewis Davidson unable to have any joy going forward and Neil Gould might be in once more. He's got away from Cammy Bowden. It's Neil Gould looking to pull the trigger but Paul Young clears. Donaldson, vicious cross in from the far side, Gould picks up the scraps, sends the ball back in and it just wouldn't fall for Martin Bavage. Ross trying to beat Lewis Davidson down the near side, Ross has done well to pick the pocket of Davidson, gets the cross in, McLean still has it for Locos. Knocked out to Ross. In from Ross. Helped away to safety once more. David Ross still has it. Knocked into the centre of the park. Greg Mitchell will get going. Drilled towards goal from Mitchell. And wide of Keenan McCaffrey's right hand post. Neil Gould does well to spin away from his man. And Neil Gould just couldn't keep the shot down. Well, the Chuff Chuffs will be looking for more of the same in the second half as the chain gens. Andrew Reid with the free kick midway through his own half. Knocked forward. Oh, tricky for Tariff. And Chris Heard has turned the ball into the back of his own net. Well, it looked very tricky for the defender. And he tried to slice it clear, but could only beat his goalkeeper, Kieran McCaffrey. And I think that goes down as an assist for Andrew Reid just come off his right boot McCaffrey with no chance well, Tariff a minute after the restart with it all to do in the second 45 as they trail by two goals to nil now and there could be a bit of sorting out for the referee Thomas Shaw the conditions getting worse as the night progresses Gold keeps it in on the far side, gets the ball into the penalty area, Bavage with the header and it's gone behind for a corner. Neil McLean on corner kick duties once more, in towards the back post, headed away by Stuart coming only as far as Martin Bavage and Martin Bavage with six minutes gone of the second half has Locos into a three goal lead. Well a good corner causing all sorts of trouble at the back for Tariff not properly cleared by Stuart Cumming and Martin Bavage pulls the trigger and has Locos now into a three goal lead it looks like, like uh, they'll get their hands on the Aberdeenshire shield barring a comeback of epic proportions from Tariff United well football is a funny game never write them off but it looks like it will be heading back to Harlow Park as Tariff try to get going Greg Mitchell clears for Locos. Looking for Ross. Keenan McCaffrey's come a long way to knock the ball behind for a throw in. Tariff, of course, looking to impress Ross Jack. He's in the stands tonight. Mitchell knocks it forward for Neil Gold to chase. Gold's done well to win the ball back. Now Martin Bavage and off the post and in. And Martin Bavage claims a second for him and a fourth for Inverurie. But you have to take your hat off to Neil Gold. He does the hard work, chases the lost cause, wins the ball back, tees up Bavage, and that's a wonderful finish from Martin Bavage. Tariff and all sorts of problems now as Dean Donaldson tries to break through. He was kept out by Cammy Bowden and that's a yellow card. Neil McLean whips in the ball. A ferocious looking ball from McLean. Tariff get it a clear. Now 
with Scott Begg on the far side. Trying his joy. Wins a corner. McLean once more. Flashed across to the face of the goal. And Donaldson lashed. She's at it. And it's way over the crossbar. Dean Donaldson knows that was a great chance for him to get on the score sheet and make it number five. But it was way over the crossbar of McCaffrey. Adams tries to switch the plate. Intercepted by McKenna. Gary Harris picks up. Adams recovers. In fact, he's lost out once more. It's still Gary Harris. For Tariff, tries to get the ball into the six yard box, but Andrew Reid once more claims easily. A real mix up here for Locos. Aaron Shand is in. Aaron Shand, one on one with Andrew Reid, and just couldn't find the target. He knows that was a great chance for himself to get on the score sheet and pull Tariff back into this game. Still, Locos come powering forward. Donaldson hangs up the cross. Or oh, surely for Mandy Hunter. And that's a wonderful save from Kieran McCaffrey. Point blank range. And the goalkeeper did ever so well to keep it out. Maitland chips the ball forward. Neil Gold is the man who picks it up for Locos. It's Gold crosses for Hunter. Andy Hunter this time makes no mistake with the header. And that's goal number five for Inverurie Locos. Five star performance from the Locos in the Aberdeenshire Shield final. Well, that caps off a fine performance to make sure that the Shield is heading back to Harlow Park. Robert Allen for Tariff. Oh, what a drive from Robert Allen and inches away from creeping under the crossbar of Andrew Reid. McLean gets the ball in from the far side misses everybody apart from Neil Gold and he really should have scored from six yards out Gold this time looking for his second nice chip straight into the arms of Keenan McCaffrey well not the greatest night for Tariff United Inverurie Locos are the Aberdeenshire Shield winners for 2014 and in some style too, winning by five goals to nil. Neil Gould collects his Man of the Match award. He started the ball rolling for Inverurie Locos with that goal early on and uh, well, he was immense really for the Locos this evening. Up come the runners-up, Tariff United who were given a second chance in the competition and they took it by beating Cove Rangers in the semi-finals. But it wasn't their night, it wasn't to be for Tariff. Even at 1-0 they looked like they were going to get back into the game but a few defensive errors at the start of the second half really handed the game on a plate to Locos and I'll take nothing away from the Locos but Tariff will come again, no doubt, under new manager Ross Jack, formerly of Elgin City. Up come the officials, Thomas Shaw, Mark Stewart, Stuart Monteith and Callum Spence, the fourth official tonight. And now here come the 2014 Aberdeenshire Shield winners. It's not been a bad season for Inverurie Locos, but uh, capped off now with some silverware to add to the Harlow Park Trophy Cabinet. A kiss on the cheeks as well for Ross Anderson. Or was that lips? Not too sure. No doubt. Uh, we'll, we'll dig out a replay and we'll slow mo that just to make sure that uh, it was cheeks and not lips. The chuff chuffs even involved on the on the pit celebrations as well. As the management team makes his way up and now Neil McLean the captain gets his hands on the shield and Inverino Locos are the 2014 Aberdeenshire Shield winners and in some style as well a five star performance, a five goal performance well deserved Inverino Locos
what do you think of the support? I mean, what, they've been very focal all the time. Absolutely, the chuff chuffs behind the goal every game. Uh, it's just fantastic. Travel with us everywhere we go, and it's good to win it for the for all the supporters. It's, uh, it's certainly been one of the most successful seasons that uh, I've certainly experienced at the Lokes, and uh, long may it continue. Hopefully, we go into next year stronger and fitter, and uh, try and push on to whoever's at top. Even one, two, three nil. Uh, we've never been, never been enough and anything can happen in, in these sort of games as it's not over till the final whistle and I think we truly really deserved it today. Finally, how are you going to celebrate tonight? Well, I'm up at five to go and <laughs> fly offshore so I can't even have a drink but uh, I'm sure the lads will enjoy it and it'll be a good fun bus ride home. I thought the first half was, you know, it was now, I think it was a great half of football. I thought, yeah, we started well. Goldie, you know, really sharp onto the into the first goal and, and finished it really well. But I thought it was a bit, the ball was in the air an awful lot in the first half. Um, you know, we wanted our strikers to hold it up a bit better than they were to try and get the midfielders into the game and, that, and that's what we said at half time. Of course, yeah, a bit of a dream start in the second half, you know, after a minute. And, uh, you know, once we got a quick third after that, I, I, to be fair, I think we are going to get beat after that. So. Just to wrap it off, one of your subs came on and showed that T can do the same up top. Ah, that's it, but... Um, He's, he's gutted because he, sh he should have scored the first one and he's, he's saying that in the dressing room there. He's gutted he missed that first one. But, you know, a great header. It was a great cross and, um, you know, and then he headers it back across the way it's came. Um, you know, just to round it off, uh, round off a, a great night for us. No, quite uh, ashamed with the performance, to be honest. Um, and I had that problem since I've been uh, in, in charge for a brief spell. And uh, obviously I was in charge tonight and... Uh, the guys let themselves down. I don't know what happened. I'll think about it over the next few days, and obviously I'll speak to Ross and uh, and see where we go from there. But uh, it's clear that uh, he isn't going to accept that standard. Went in one 0 I wasn't too despondent about it because uh, one 0 here I was in the game. Last thing we said to the guys was stay in the game um, and try and have a good spell, and then two goals in five minutes or whatever it was. Um, just wasn't what we're looking for. Martin, firstly, happy birthday, but happier occasion for you with two goals and. Um... Yeah, it was. It was. Um, obviously, it's a, we've had a few cracks at it this year trying to get a, a trophy, and um, and disappointing to lose the Aberdeenshire Cup earlier in the season, um, and especially in the manner that that, that happened. Um, and obviously, to get beat a couple of weeks back from Bucky in the semi-final of the, the Highland League Cup was was a huge disappointment as well, and we'd been on such a great run. So we had to pick ourselves up a wee bit, and, and uh, you know, we came good tonight. And Two very good finishes from yourself, right inside the post, so it was giving the keeper no chance. Yeah, the first one was a bit fortunate, perhaps, on the left foot in the volley, so they could have gone anywhere. But the second one, yeah, that was, was obviously a, a good good move from Goldie down the down the right channel, and for once he, he passed it inside the 18-yard box, so I've been winding him up a, bit, a wee bit about that. You know, he's, he's, uh, you know, he's been single-minded this year, and... and getting the goals that he's got and he's done fantastically well so just pleased to obviously get a couple myself tonight. This is the first uh, trophy we won as players, uh, the first trophy locals won in the Highland League and we were you know, there as players so the first one we've won uh, as managers so um, I hope it's one that we can kick on from but you know as for another day we've got to just enjoy uh, winning, I don't care what the trophy is, we've got to enjoy winning it. Well done. Thank you.